Hey guys, in this video I show you how to do some advanced boolean cleanup. Don't forget to join the Discord server and you can also join my Patreon to support the channel if you want. This is a file that someone sent me on Discord. He asked me how to clean up the geometry because he added a boolean. So let's apply it and let's work on this part only. In one of my previous videos, someone asked me to detail my thought process. So this is what I'm going to do in this video. So when we have a 3D model with a pattern, we can isolate only one part of it. So in this case, this one, for example, I'm going to try to connect the vertices and same there. And when it will be done, I'm going to do a radial array to rebuild everything. So first of all, I'm going to isolate this part at the center. So I can just add a seam there, right click, mark seam. I can press L to select everything, P and separate by selection. Let's hide this. So now we can notice that these edges are not in the right direction because obviously I would like to connect the edges like this. Okay, so the flow of the edges has to be in that direction and not like this. So let's remove these faces at the center. So I would like to work only on these areas there. So to do that, I'm just going to select these edges, deselect this, but if I dissolve the edges, Control X, look what happens. The circle is destroyed and this is not what I want. So we have to protect the circle. So to do that, I'm just going to select the border, extrude on the x-axis, select the circle, bevel it, Control B, P, set the shape to 1. You can increase the size of the bevel if you want. So now this circle is the one that's going to protect my shape. Let's zoom in, select the edges again, like this, deselect these and these. Control X to dissolve. And as you can see now, the circle is protected. Okay. Let's do the same there. Control X to dissolve. Same here. Dissolve. So what I can do now is to select these three areas. Press I to inset. You can grow the selection twice by pressing Control plus on your numpad. Go to top view, deselect these vertices, inset again, and finally I'm going to inset the outer part. So let's select this face, shift G to open the select similar menu and choose coplanar and press inset like this. Okay, let's remove this loop. All right, and now I can connect the vertices. So let's connect this with this, connect this one there. You can also connect this one there. Now we have a diamond polygon there. I'm not a fan to have a diamond polygon next to a bevel, but I'm going to fix that after. Let's connect these two, these two. We have to select this. Click on this button to activate the auto merge vertices button. Press GG, slide and merge. Okay. Let's do the same there, same here, GG, slide, okay, connect this, remove this, connect this, remove this, connect this, okay. I would like to add a loop there, like this, but I can't because I have a diamond polygon there. Let's just select manually these edges, right click subdivide and I can just select these two vertices, press M, merge at center. So now let's connect this one there. Let's connect these two. Let's connect this, this. You can remove this edge, select this vertex, press GG. So now we have another diamond polygon there. I can add two loops there, connect and connect. Let's do the same there. Connect and connect. Perfect. I can connect this like this, this like this, 
Okay, I can connect these together. This one there, this, this, okay. I'm going to do exactly the same there. So let's connect this, 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 this. Let's remove that. Remove this, remove this. Connect. Connect. Let's add a loop there. Subdivide. Select these two M merge at center. Perfect. Connect this. Remove this and this. Select this edge GG. Slide and connect. Same there. GG. Connect. Connect. Let's remove this. Connect with this one in the middle. Connect like this and like this. Remove this edge. GG. Perfect. All right. So now that I have the same pattern there and there, what I can do is to connect these two, select these loops, this one, this, and this. Right-click Mark Seam. Press L to select it. Control I to invert. X and remove the faces. I'm just going to connect this with this and this with this. We can remove these edges. Select this, right click loop tools space. Same there, right click loop tools space. Okay. Now we are going to do a radial array. So how to do that? Go to orthographic view, otherwise it's not going to work. I'm gonna show you that. I'm going to go into perspective mode Select all the faces, Alt E, Spin. Click on Use Duplicates. And as you can see, if I rotate, it doesn't work. So let's undo that. Let's go to Front View. Press Alt E, Spin. Click on Use Duplicates. And as you can see, the vertices are not matching, but that's not a problem. I'm just going to press L on this one, X and remove the faces because we had some duplicated faces. And now I'm going to select these vertices, M, merge at center, and repeat everywhere. There, 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 and there, okay? Let's do the same here. You can press Shift R to repeat the latest command. So now this one is perfect. So I can go back to front view, select it, Control I to invert the selection, X, remove, and do a radial array again. Use duplicates, and this is perfect. Press A to select all the vertices, M, merge by distance. All right. So now we have all quads everywhere, except there. I'm just going to select all the faces again, Alt J, and increase this value. And it's done. I'm going to clear the seams, right click, clear seams. And now, as I told you earlier, I don't like to have a diamond polygon next to a bevel, because as you can see, if I add a subdivision surface modifier, right click, shade smooth, the size of the bevel is not consistent especially in this area. So to fix that, I'm just going to remove the subdivision surface modifier, select these sharp edges, and add another bevel, like this. All right. And if I add my subdivision surface modifier again, the real bevel is this one, and it's not being deformed by this diamond polygon. Let's make sure that we have a perfect circle there, so let's select this border, right-click, loop tools, circle. Okay, let's remove this. 
So let's select this as well. Right click, loop tools, circle, shift R to repeat. Select this border, grid fill. Okay, perfect. And if we want to reduce the amount of vertices there, we can select the faces, extrude, scale, remove this, add a loop there, select these three vertices, M, merge at center, and repeat. Okay, let's select everything, Alt J, select this border, grid fill, and as you can see, the number of faces has been reduced. We can grow the selection, press 1, select the vertices, right click, smooth vertices, and increase these values. Okay, let's add a subdivision surface modifier. And to avoid getting this distortion there, you can just add a loop there and slide it like this. And if you want, you could even select these vertices, scale them towards the 3D cursor, release, merge this one there, okay. We have some poles there, but it's a flat surface, so it doesn't matter. And this is how you can clean up the topology after a boolean. And as I like to say, don't be scared of using booleans. This is an amazing way to make your models. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. It helps me a lot. Thank you for watching. Bye.